What does being in a league player mean to you? Uh, just producing every game, entertaining the fans, and just being a, a hero or like a role model to kids, being able to hold your own ground against others. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the lineups for both teams, starting with Huntington Prep. His athletic ability is something that comes once in a lifetime. Um, his worth, work ethic is uh, tremendous. And um, just a humble guy. You don't see too many players that are ranked number one in the country that are as humble as he is. You know, he's got a lot of confidence in his support. That's the way we've been handling as a family. And uh, he, he respects us. He respects, you know, what we've done in our career. And, you know, everybody's family. So with that, you know, he's grounded. And he's Andrew, the same kid that I've known since he was a baby. Now you're here in Canada, of course, and there's always that fight against keeping kids here, some going down to the States. What are you doing as, with Canada basketball to ensure that kids realize, hey, they do have a potential to uh, get recognized even if they stay here in Canada? I mean, well, that's clear. I mean, I'm, you know, I was just talking to the UCLA coach. I mean, they're, they're coming uh, here. They want to find the talent. I think the most important thing for our athletes is they need the right training environment. And, uh, you know, for me, if, if you're not here dominating your training environment to the point where you can't get enough competition when you're here, I think you need to at least maybe stay for a bit, you know, and, and get to that point. Uh, you know, I, I think obviously for kids like Andrew, uh, you know, for like kids like Xavier Wraith and May, it's very difficult for them to get the, the level, you know, Montague, you know, Caesar, he's gone down there, he's with Huntington as well. There are athletes that have a difficult time. Um, and and for in those cases, I, I say absolutely go. No different than Milos Raonic in tennis at 17 years old that's in you know, in, in, in Spain. Like if you're a top, top flight type of talent, you need that extra competition and, 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 and environment to grow, then by all means you should go. Everyone's asking you about school and your game, but is there anything you wish that maybe they knew about you, Andrew? I'm only 17. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's really easy for people to forget that? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's amazing. You know, people are starting to realize, you know, at home now that, you know, these guys could play and that, you know, there's talent up here and that everyone wants to see it. And, you know, hopefully this is a start of, you know, continued support from everybody here. Come home back to Canada is always, good, is always a good feeling. And the crowd has a lot of love. I think we can get the same amount of fans, the same amount of love that we did um, back in Huntington and Kentucky. <laughs> love to be able to play with him in college. Um, I think that it would be a huge story for us to be able to play together, seeing that our fathers went there. And um, just the relationship that we have on and off the court is definitely special. I would like to see it continue.
sacrifice so much to leave. So be able to come back and play in front of friends and family, people they haven't seen in a long time. I'm sure it's a great feeling for them, and uh, they're putting on a pretty good show. You know, they're just great kids. They're coachable. You see, there's no attitude by them on the court. So they come in ready in the summer. I, I got to congratulate them and, and their coach because they're doing a great job. Do you get a sense of how many ways it can go wrong and how many things could pull you away from being as good as you want to be? Yeah, no one's promised tomorrow, so that's why I just keep praising God. Hopefully God will give me the opportunity. What was the last time you played against someone who was better than you? Me? I don't know. As the competition gets tougher, he just gets better. He just rises to whatever level he's at. I've never seen that happen before. You know, the, the bigger the game, the tougher the competition, the better Andrew Wiggins becomes. It's a lot on your shoulders for being 17, isn't it? I'm sorry. Mm, yeah, well, I was raised well, so I know how to handle a lot of stuff. <laughs> hey, Andrew, can you come back and st play here? Because we, we see a lot of the media here. We need this on a regular basis. So hopefully if you can get back, we can show you. There you go.